Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Excellencies, heads of state and government, and all the dignitaries that are here from all our countries that are present or represented and other organizations, UN, fully recognized, thank you. First, let me congratulate President Ramaphosa for hosting this BRICS summit and inviting many of us uh, uh, to the summit. Thank you, President Ramaphosa. Um, I also wish to effectively and firmly um, endorse the importance of this summit um, in providing us with an enhanced opportunity uh, to work with the BRICS countries to be able to support our developmental agendas in our individual countries, regions, continent of Africa and elsewhere. Mr. Chairman, we wish to express our appreciation that this forum provides to enhancing our partnership and in fostering development, as I said. And because of the importance of this uh, platform, Mr. Chair, I simply want to express what uh, we believe are critical as Zambia, commercial countries. We see this as a rare opportunity to address the challenges we've kept on talking about for a long time and on many platforms. One, that we need to reform the global order in particular to address the inequities associated with critical ingredients to development such as capital. The cost of capital is what I'm talking about. Africa, as we have already acknowledged, pays a higher cost of capital than any other on the globe. Certainly, the BRICS platform could and should be used to work through, to expedite the reform processes around this issue, which is inhibiting development, which our young populations much need to create opportunities for education, health, uh, business, work, as it were, and other life-improving activities. Secondly, Mr. Chairman, to address access to technology. Access to technology so we can then engage in the genuine and mutually beneficial partnerships which we keep talking about all the time. Partnership that would deliver value for all our economies, our regions, continent of Africa, as well as obviously contribute positively to world global economic success, which is important because global success, Mr. Chairman, it cannot be talked about in isolation. You can't call a global success to be there or delivered when a lot of countries are left behind, yet they are richly endowed with resources. So when we look at these opportunities, we look at the total resource envelopes that we all bring to the table, capital at a fair price, technology, of course at a fair price, but also the resource endowments such as critical minerals that are important to the industry of the future, EV industry for example. So one of the things, Mr. Chairman, that we would like as Zambia, as Comesa, Africa, to endorse firmly is that as the BRICS nations look to enhance relationships with us in Africa and elsewhere, Asia, elsewhere, South America, the Global South, if I may say, we need to consciously agree that relationships must be structured in a manner that allows enhancement of domestic economic growth of those that are associated with the BRICS and also using BRICS, Mr. Chairman, as an opportunity to correct the relationships that were structured wrongly with the old order. That old order which we are now talking about reforming, we now have an opportunity under the BRICS platform to enter in those relationships in a reformed manner. That, for example, ensures that when we exploit resources 
we must invest in value addition in the host countries where those resources are located. It benefits the investors, collective basket of investors. It creates opportunities for our young African population and invariably, Mr. Chairman, delivers an opportunity to stabilize Africa, political, civil stability, which is important. I want to conclude in the interest of time, Mr. Chairman, to reiterate the fact that we now have an opportunity once again, the globe has an opportunity once again with the BRICS platform to work together to realize the enormous opportunities within BRICS, Africa, Asia, South America, Global South, let's call it that, that would deliver mutual benefits for all our individual countries and, of course, the continent. No question about that. Mr. Chairman, all of this should happen in the environment of peace, security, and stability once more in our individual countries, regions, Africa, continents, elsewhere, and the global community. Thank you very much. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.